Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how to upload work onto DB Primary from a laptop, a phone and a tablet. Now at the moment the first video, this part here, is going to be I'm using my laptop. So I've logged into a child's DB Primary homepage and as you can see at the top there are two things to do. There's a music task and there is a maths task. I'm going to click on the maths task because that's what I'm looking for and then you'll see that there is a Word document. So I'm going to open up the Word document and it'll come to the bottom of my laptop. I'm just going to click it again. Now once my Word document has been opened, at the very top of the page you've got the option to enable editing. If you click on enable editing, this will allow you to type straight on to the Word document and then you can complete your maths calculations here. So 12 out of 5 equals 17, 15 out of 7 equals 22, and then 16 out of 4 equals 20. Now when you finish your work on your laptop, you can save it. So I'm going to go File save as and then I'm going to browse so I can save it with my other documents and then I'm going to save it change the name at the bottom something that I'm going to remember so maths and then db task once I've saved it it will now be onto my deck documents so I'm going to click save so now that's saved onto my laptop. Now if I go back to my DB Primary homepage, so I'm just going to go back onto Google and here it is. Where I have gone into my maths task, you'll see an upload button. So I'm going to now upload that Word document. So if I click on upload and I'm going to my documents and then I'm going to find maths DB task, I'm just going to double click that. And now that has been uploaded to your class teacher okay so they will see that as your work will show as finished and they can mark it and give you feedback now if by accident you have uploaded a separate maybe by accident you uploaded another word document what you can do if you go into your home page and if you go into my work section and then so maybe you uploaded something separate so if you didn't upload your maths task you uploaded say an english task by accident if you go to upload and if you go into your documents where you saved your maths task, so I'm going to click on it and it will come up here. Okay, and then that's uploaded to your work section. So if you click onto it, the correct document, and if you go to publish to, and then your class will come up. So 3C, this will then automatically send a notification to your teacher saying that you've published the work. So that's how to upload work from a laptop. Now I'm going to show you how to upload work from a tablet. So I'm on my tablet now and I'm logged in as a child um, on their homepage. And as you can see from the homepage, if you click down, you'll be able to see. So it's got maths task and then the other task here, if you hold down, it will say it's got music keywords. Now I'm looking for my maths task. So I'm going to go into maths and then as you can see, it has got my words document there. So I'm going to click on it Then at the bottom of my tablet, it would say open. So I'm going to choose to open my document. Now once my document's opened, I can see what I need to do. So what I'm going to do is, from instead of doing it on my tablet, I'm going to work on a sheet of paper. So I have, on my sheet of paper, I've answered my questions. And now I am ready to upload. So if I go back to my DB homepage, so if I click at the bottom, as I'm back on my homepage, now you will see it's got the upload. So my task was there, and now it's gone upload button so I'm going to click on upload and at the bottom it has given me options so I've got camera camcorder or files now I'm going to go to my camera and now with my iPad I'm going to take a picture of my work so if I click so I've taken a picture now it will give me the option to retry it or OK. So I'm going to look, does it look clear for my teacher? Yes, it does. So I'm going to then click OK. Now, once I've clicked OK, it will be uploaded. So I've clicked OK and then it's gone. So if I go back to my home page, you will not see your maths task because you have uploaded it to your class teacher's page. Okay, so the last device I'm going to use is a mobile phone. Now, I tried this on a couple of mobiles and on Google Chrome, it wouldn't let me log into my DB homepage. So I tried Internet Explorer and it worked. However, on this one, it has let me log in through Google Chrome. So if it doesn't, just try Internet Explorer as well. So I'm on the home page and I'm going to click on the maths task. 
and once my math task comes up I'm going to click on it again and it's going to give you two options view or download I'm just going to view the task because I'm going to do it on a sheet of paper so you can see the task is there and then I've completed my maths task on a separate sheet which is here so what I'm going to do I'm going to go back to my DB primary home page so if I go back to my home page and then you'll see that we've got the upload option here so I'm going to click on upload and it's given me three options take photo or video photo library or browse and I'm going to take a photo so what I'm going to do is with my phone, I'm just going to take a photo of my work. And then once I've taken the photo, it will give me the option to retake or use photo depending on the quality of it. So I'm going to use this one. So I've clicked to use photo. And then my work has now been uploaded. So that's how you upload from a mobile.